Hello and welcome to the Create, Deliver and Support class. My name is Dr. Suzanne Van Hove and I look forward to working with you as we go through the content and the syllabus to achieve that CDS certification. So let's go ahead and get started. We have some basic housekeeping here that we have to do first and it is these copyright statements. Apologies as I have to read them Exactly, so bear with me. Uh, Idol is a registered trademark of Axelos Limited, used under permission of Axelos Limited, all rights reserved. The IT Infrastructure Library is a registered trademark of Axelos Limited, used under permission of Axelos Limited, all rights reserved. The Swirl logo is a trademark of Axelos Limited, used under permission of Axelos Limited, all rights reserved. All other copyrights are the property of their respective owners. And lastly, <clears throat> all text is from the final draft of Idle 4 Create, Deliver, and Support, and several of the Idle practice guides. See the official syllabus for the complete list. Copyright Axelos Limited 2020, used under permission of Axelos Limited, all rights reserved. Material is reproduced under license from Axelos Limited. Okay, we've got that done, thankfully. All right, so our agenda here. Um, in the CDS class, um, there are only three learning objectives, and we're going to see them specifically in just a few minutes. But it is around the concept of building and planning, or should say planning and building, a service value stream. Now, that's a new concept in Idle 4, and this is where everybody is uh, excited to look at uh, this new concept and how to apply it. So this is the class that will spend the most time on uh, that creation of that service value stream. Uh, it will also look at the Idle practices and how they contribute to CDS. There are actually 12 of them. We'll list them for you in just a moment. Um, and we'll talk about how to create, deliver, and support services. Lastly, we'll talk about the exam. That's always important, and that's what people seem to really want to go after and, and get that certification. Uh, we have a couple of practice exams and some exam techniques that we can go through. All right. So here is the Idle 4 certification overview. All of you have had at least the foundation class. You have to have it. It is a prerequisite. Um, some of you may have already sat the uh, Managing Professional Transition course. Um, if you had 17 credits or more in the previous um, version of Idle, you can go ahead and take that transition course and that immediately takes you into the uh, Managing Professional certification with a successful completion. But you'll notice that that uh, Managing Professional, <clears throat> it actually has four courses underneath of it which you need to take to achieve Managing Professional and we're looking at Create, Deliver, and Support in this course. Uh, you'll notice that Direct, Plan, and Improve, the DPI class that will give you that strategist um, element within Idle 4. That is a shared class across the um, managing professional and the strategic leader. But all we're really concerned about is that Create, Deliver, and Support. Publications that we need to be aware of, um, really, you have to read the book. Um, we can only tell you so much. Uh, the syllabus only covers partial aspects of the book, um, and there is additional content in there that is quite valuable for this, um, uh, this role of creating, delivering, and supporting. Uh, it's just not included on the exam, so we don't cover it. We also have 12 practice guides that we need to have, and those practice guides are critical. Uh, they're listed for you there on the slide. So we have service design, software development and management, service desk, incident management, deployment, problem, knowledge, service level, monitoring and event, change enablement, service validation and testing, release and deployment. Now, that just makes sense. If you think about, hey, we need to create, we need to deliver, then we need to support, these are the practices that will, that will support those activities quite well. Um, so those are the focuses, and that as we go through and build value streams, we'll apply these practices and others that aren't tested uh, to those activities, and you'll start to see how all of this comes together uh, very nicely uh, in that value stream. Um, the examinable content is, is listed within the syllabus, and so both the volume and the practices contain non-examinable uh, information as you would expect. 
So um, when we start thinking about CDS the, the, and, and IDLE 4, the main concept within IDLE 4, of course, is the service value system. And the center element within the service value system is the service value chain, which is shown for you here. CDS covers specific elements of the service value chain. And they're shown to you here by this blue bar uh, that has just flown down. So we're really looking at the activities of design and trans transition, obtain, build, and then deliver and support. The other activities within the value chain are found in the other, um, I'm just going to call them intermediate courses. So for example, direct plan and improve or drive stakeholder value or HVIT. Okay. So we're really considering and focusing on that core cube, I'm going to say. So design, transition, obtain, build, and then deliver and support. All right. Uh, the target audience for CDS. Uh, those that want to continue their path or their journey through that service management piece, uh, looking at the new concepts within IDLE 4. So service management managers um, or, or people who are aspiring to be managers, uh, practitioners, consultants, um, other qualification holders within IDLE uh, trying to develop further knowledge. And, and Sadly, I would really like to see, uh, because IDLE 4 is talking about enterprise-wide, I would really like to see um, uh, business roles listed. And perhaps a, uh, I, you know, a service manager is a business role, um, but I really would like to see that come in. This is what IDLE 4 is about. It's about spreading the service management principles and practices across the enterprise and how they can be used for efficiency. All right, but that's a personal preference, something to think about, something for you to take back into your organization. Uh, let's talk about the exam. <clears throat> okay, it's just like every other idle exam, you know, it's that magic number of 40 questions. Uh, you do have an hour and 30 minutes, 90 minutes to complete it. If you're having to take it in a language where it's not your native language, you get an extra, uh, what, 23 minutes um, to, to handle the translations and you can have a dictionary. Um, passing score, 28 out of 40, just like always, so 70% or above. Um, because there are only um, three learning objectives, LOs, or learning objectives, you can see that defined for you in the syllabus. The question breakdown is as follows. So learning objective one, which is very much um, uh, generic information for the organization and teams and people who will uh, design services or create services. There's 15 questions. Learning objective two, which is around the value streams, there's 16 questions. And learning objective three, which is around the support uh, and supporting functions, um, nine questions. Uh, these are all coded to Bloom's levels. Uh, there's 15 questions at Bloom's level two, which is at that describe level. And then um, there are 25 questions, much higher, uh, at Bloom's level three, which is know how to. So you have to have a little bit more of an in-depth knowledge uh, to answer those types of questions. All of those questions um, either you know the Bloom's level two or the Bloom's level three, they're clearly marked on the sample exam so you could start getting the understanding of what's the difference or what knowledge do I have to have or how do I have to apply it by using those sample exams. And we will work with you on those sample exams um, at the end of the course. So just let them sit there for now until you go through the content itself. Okay, um, so the materials that will support the class um, you should have access to the CDS volume itself and you also need the practice guides. As we said that there are 12 practices that are clearly called out in the syllabus and there's specific information that you need to know about those practices. Of course we will provide that information through the videos but you need to read the practice guides. So you get the practice guides from Axelos. Uh, you would go to axelos.com slash myidle. Oh, sorry, myaxelos, then myidle. You should have free access. Uh, if you've passed an idle exam within the last year, you get a year's access to uh, myaxelos and myidle. After that year, it becomes a um, subscription-based uh, membership. Okay. Um, we have also produced a video on how to read the um, practice guides. So make sure you have a look at that. It, it kind of explains how the practice guides are structured, what they use, what you can use them for, and what information you will find. 
Now, in the student materials, in the student guide itself, you'll have the slide deck, okay? So you can go follow along the slide deck, take your notes, etc. Um, there's also a separate section where we have pulled out the critical tables uh, from the CDS volume and put, put them all in one document so you can have them with you uh, and we will be going through these tables so make sure that you have that printed out or electronically so that you can listen and look at these, these tables at the same time. Uh, the tables are rather extensive. Idle 4 seems to be based in tables. Make sure that you have that and you study them because questions do come out of those tables. Uh, there's review exercises, so we have exercises scattered throughout the course uh, and possible solutions are also provided for you. Uh, the glossary is provided for you, uh, as well as the sample exam papers. Again, keep those sample exam papers till the end. I would appreciate it. Uh, it just makes more sense. Let's learn the information, then let's test ourselves with one of the samples. Go back and learn what we didn't quite get right, and then take another sample and prepare ourselves for that actual exam. Lastly, the syllabus is available, and I encourage you strongly to get that syllabus and read it. Um, there is a lot of repeated information between the learning objectives and the criteria within them. So, we, we only present the information once, we refer back to it, but you need to be able to take that information in wherever it's presented and continually apply it as you learn new information. So get that syllabus out and look at it. Uh, the slides, they are all marked with the section number from the CDS volume in the upper right hand corner and that will help you match up to the syllabus sections. The course is delivered as it's written in the syllabus. So that will help you out as well. Okay, so the learning outcomes that we have here, like I said, there's only three. Uh, the first one is to understand how to plan and build a service value stream uh, to create, deliver, and support services. Learning outcome number two is how relevant idle practices contribute to the creation, delivery, and support across the service value streams uh, and the service value system. So the 12 practice guides are listed for you there. So the, the content is going to be in that middle uh, learning objective. And then the last learning objective is to know how to create, deliver, and support services. Okay, so that is our introduction. When you come back, we're going to jump right into learning objective number one and start thinking about what organizations, how they're structured, and how they support the creation, delivery, and support of services. I'll see you then.